I want to introduce you to this. Hello, my name is Anika McPherson, Olympic high jumper, and we are here with Quantum Leaps. And today we're going to interview one of my clients who we're going to do on the spot training and figure out what his goals is and how he can make a quantum leap. We have Maury Lewis. Hello, Maury. How you doing? It's not good to see you. Good to see you too. Nice to meet you. All uh, day. Amori is actually my nephew. He's 20 years old. He's right. in college right now, going to Perry View to become an electrical engineer. Right. Right. And he also aspira has aspirations on creating generational wealth yes, by sure. doing that um, through, through, through entrepreneurship. Through uh, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. through just working, just grinding, working hard every day, mm -hmm. going punch the clock. Yeah. So I where are you going to become? What are you going to school for? Uh, I'm going to school to be an electrical engineer. Electrical engineer. So, I'm gonna take that career path and um, see how many opportunities, how many doors that can open. Then, mm -hmm. then once I um, obtain that, I can start like doing my own thing, like branch off. Um, have a, I even thought about mm, having my like own family, like our own family business. But within yes. that, I've got my career, mm -hmm. and then I would have to have like a plan set back, a plan and yeah. more income. Mm -hmm. Then see how we create the general. Okay. Awesome, right? <laughs> Creating generational wealth is also one of my goals of mine and several different family members that are within our, our lineage. So, actually, just tell them a little bit about yourself, you know, what you got going on, your fitness goals, and a little bit about your nutrition because when we think about fitness, we also got to think about what we're putting into our bodies, right? Okay. So, we're going to try to help uh, Maury come up with a short circuit plan that he can optimize his fitness goals and his nutritionist plan so that he can make proper leaps. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, so to piggyback on what she said, my name is Amari Lewis. I'm a college student. I go to Prairie View and Prairie View and I'm University. Um, I'm studying electrical engineer, trying to get my bachelor's of science in that. Um, my fitness goals, really I just want to become the best version of myself um, possible. As in getting stronger, getting um, in shape, raising my cardio. Um, but staying real, like I want to get, how can I explain this? I want to get stronger and get bigger at the same time, but at the same time, like still have the agility as if I was 120, 130, 140. So you want like a bulk, a bulk lean body structure. Right, correct. So basically, you would say, if you look on the football field, maybe a tight end or a receiver or a running back. Yeah, receiver, running receiver, back. Receiver, back. Defensive so back, safety. Bulk, but light on your feet. Mm -hmm. So we definitely can achieve that, especially what are your, your favorite exercises you like to do? Favorite exercises, it would, um, usually when I was young, it was mostly arms. Mm -hmm. But as I grew older, I knew you have to, um, you can't be top heavy and not like work on your body. So yeah. I'm starting to fall in love with legs. Nice. Mm -hmm. I, I got like legs, that's that muscle, that, like that big muscle. Like, it makes mm -hmm. up most of the body. Yeah. And like what I feel like, if I don't work on your legs and you lose your arm, um, you have you have less control mm -hmm. of your body. Um, you lose mobility. Mo mobility. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? What's this? Another word? Um, I can't even think. Um, what is it called when you just stand straight up? Uh, um, uh, balance. Balance. Okay. Balance. 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 You have yeah. to have improper balance is not good. Yes, and that all comes from the whole body system. Mm -hmm. And that's why we create circuits for our athletes and our clients because you're not only working on your arms or your legs, you're working on your core, your legs, your neck, Bad. you're working on everything. everything. It's yes. called foundational, right? Yeah, foundation. <laughs> all day. You gotta build that foundation. Nice. So, as far as your fitness goal is becoming bulk, you want your legs to be bulk and your arms to be bulk? Yes, you want only. everything to everything. be fully packed and stuff. Yes. <laughs> Can't be, that. like, if I... If I'm working on chest 45, mm -hmm. so you gotta be the legs 45. Everything yeah. has to be 45 all around, all even. Yeah. I want that even distribution. Mm -hmm. So, when catering a circuit for Amori here, we would focus more on a bodybuilding aspect of training, other than uh, if we would do explosive workout, strength workout. We're gonna do a whole foundation and we're gonna train him as if he's a bodybuilder because he wants the physique as a bodybuilder, yes. but the mobility as an athlete. Yes. So that's yes. what we're gonna do. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, what are your what are your favorite foods to eat? Um, pasta and chicken. Pasta and chicken. Pasta and chicken. And 
it's funny they say that because a lot of bodybuilders eat a lot of chicken. <laughs> so, and I'm all, I'm not like a, a meat lover. He's a meat lover. We have a lot of people out there. It's like I'm not giving up meat. And a way to be able to still have meat in your diet and have it be able to digest in time is intermittent fasting. We talked a little bit about this like yeah. a couple of weeks ago, right? Fasting, yes. So basically, if nephew would stop eating around six thirty, it doesn't matter what meal he has. He's going to have his body have enough time until tomorrow, tomorrow, 12 o'clock. You have enough time, about 16 hours of no food. No food. If you have 16 hours of no food to 18 hours, you're going to get the same benefits from a 24-hour fast. So what about... Which is amazing. I know you said fast, like no eating, but what about like a little peanut butter sandwich or nuts or... No, you want to, you want to, nuts and almonds are fine. So when you start and get used to intermittent fasting, it's not going to happen overnight, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to build yourself up into that actual eating habit. It's a lifestyle. It's not like, oh, I'm going to do this diet for a little bit. Can't day. just jump in. You Can't jump in. Jump out. Not double dutch. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I would have you stop eating at 630. You can still eat your, your um, chicken. You can still eat your pasta. Actually, we'll bring you up. How many times do you eat a day? How many times I can. How many times you can? Yeah, right. So let's bring that down. Or since we don't know a, a correct number, let's yeah. try four times a day. Four times a day. Especially That's when you want to bulk enough. up. Mm -hmm. So you would want to not eat into in the morning, but you can also eat like you can make a smoothie. Mm -hmm. So it's not really breaking the fast, but you're still kind of breaking the fast, but giving your body some nutrients that it can be easily di digested. So when like you eat in the morning, shakes. protein shakes, okay. um, greens, any type of things of that nature, fruit, anything that's fruit, easily yes. digestible. And this is when you're getting used to intermittent fasting. About and then eggs. At eggs. some point, no eggs. no eggs. At some point, you're going to be like, okay, I don't need to eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. You'll eat right before you train. See, with you, with bulking, you'll probably eat around 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, train, eat, 11 o'clock, train, and then eat again. Mm -hmm. And then rest. Mm -hmm. Rest yeah. for at least 15, 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then later on, and say when you have time, throughout your homework or throughout you working at the same time pick a time in between time get a little bit more workout in the circuit that i'm going to give you get that circuit in eat again mm -hmm. it's going to help you build that protein that mass okay. and that's how you're going to bulk up okay. so train eat train eat train eat train eat, at least okay. three four times three four times a day yes okay. the one circuit that i'm going to give you you okay. can do it one or two times a day and it's going to give you be very effective Okay. And then, you know, of course, he's going to go hit the weights, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, with the circuit that I have with him, we're going to incorporate weights. Most of the time, I don't incorporate weights right off, but Amori here is already in good shape. So, <laughs> thank, thank <laughs> he's going to be able to handle it. So, we're going to take a break now, and we're going to get to your plan. I'm going to write up your plan for nutrition okay. and your circuit. We're nice. going to go do the circuit, nice. and then we're going to see how Amori feels after the circuit. Nice. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. I say yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>